Was he cast? I mean, we are gonna get. I mean, spear and shield could be really hard to be fair. <laughs> the plan is to not count the heart of the wind streak. Oh, right. Let me just quickly go to the bathroom, and then we're gonna try this. Jesus. Right. Heart fight will be at least one hour. <laughs> right, okay. Quickly go to the bathroom, see you guys in 45 minutes. Right, what are we doing here? Campfire. We can upgrade one card. What's going to be harder, spear, spear and shield or heart? Mm. I mean, probably the heart is going to be ridiculous, right? Wait, do we upgrade loop? Oh my god, do we upgrade loop? Or do we upgrade damage? We could do loot plus. We could get another hologram. I mean, hologram has been good. You're gonna spend 15 minutes at the shop. I mean, we don't have that much gold, so we're not gonna have we're not gonna have much choice in the shop, to be honest. I think we either upgrade hologram or loot. Loop allows us to get more consistent block every turn, right? Because we can amplify loop. We might even just have to play loop on its own. We get more block each turn. With hologram, though, it allows us to keep getting back the cards we want. We can hologram the turbos, which is how we're going to beat the heart. We're going to hologram the glacier. <laughs> I'm off to the market. See, <laughs> see you guys in an hour at the heart. <laughs> Bro, this is, I think this, this is definitely, without a doubt, my longest ever run. I mean, I thought we were so doomed. I thought we were absolutely screwed. Bro, it's nearly two o'clock. <laughs> I started this run at like, I started this run at like 9am. It was even before that. It was literally before 9 It was like half eight. I started this run at like half eight this morning. It's nearly two. As if we'll make it past the shop within an hour. <laughs> If this run had died to slavers, we'd be on a six streak by now. Yesterday someone raided you and said, I had a six hour, 30 minute run and we all thought, damn how. Bro, that's actually true. Yeah, that actually did happen, yeah. I guess now we know. And they said this was with defect as well. Right, okay, focus. Focus, Jack, come on. Hologram or loop? I don't think it's buffer. Although, hang on a second. Another thing we could do against... It's not buffer. Just don't even. It's not buffer. Loop or hologram. Loop is crazy against the heart. It is, but it's just block, right? We've got a lot of block already. It's the damage that's going to be the issue. And I feel like hologram might help us with that damage a bit. I mean, I guess we can loop. We can sometimes loop to do some damage. Okay, fuck it, I'm gonna do loop. Ah, oh, but really though? I 
Hologram is going to give us different ways of playing and more options. I'm gonna have great loot. Fuck. Are we there? Bro, look how few relics we've got. We've got like no relics. I mean, we do have one hologram plus already. Why two holograms? Because we can just keep using the holograms to find the cards we need. Like, what do we need a lot? We need Glacier a lot, because it's like our best defensive card. Um, what else do we need? We need to hologram. Early on, we want to hologram, amplify, and defrag. So it doesn't really matter if it has exhaustion off that. Actually, no, we don't. We can hologram, amplify, but not defrag. Oh, that's interesting, actually. You can't hologram powers. I've never thought about that. Unless you've chosen to not play it. I mean, it's pretty obvious, but... Hologram will always be bringing you, bring you back a skiller and a tank. I mean, in this state, when we've got Pyramid, we either hold the power or play it. So when we've got Pyramid, it is... It can never be a power, really. Right, uh... I'm going to upgrade loot. Hundred and eight three gold for this shot. <coughs> Tempest plus Oh my god. Wait, what does Spoon do? Cards which exhaust only discard fifty percent. Do we have any exhaust cards that are really good? Not really. Oh we've got seek, but no. Um Tempest. We can't afford Tempest and remove a card. Bro, this is a pretty bad shot. This is a pretty bad shot. I don't think we do Tempest Plus, right? Like, with Tempest, we're gonna play it, and then we're gonna have no energy left, we're gonna have no Frost Orbs up, and then we're gonna die. Unless we do Tempest, we can do Tempest, Turbo, Glacier, something like that. I mean, Tempest is not as good as Multicast for us, I think. Right. I think it's actually remove a card. I think we remove a card. Because this is not a good shot. Wait, what about Magnetism? Auto shield is pretty bad with loop. Yeah, auto shield is really bad for us right now. Do we remove auto shield? <clears throat> oh, I can't afford it. Shit, you're right. <laughs> um. Yeah, we're gonna remove a card. What do we remove? Auto shields is bad, and uh, except like it's good on the first couple of turns. It is good on the first couple of shirt turns, but then it becomes a dead card. Um. Do we remove defend instead because? Auto shields is good for the first couple of turns. It's good on against heart first couple of turns as well because of because of the heartbeat. 
Machine learning. Um, I don't mind machine learning because it removes itself from the deck when we played it. So I think machine learning is fine. I'd rather remove defend. Oh, we never upgraded cool headed. It's fine. I mean, we don't need to, right? We've got skim and we're not even able to draw from it that much. <clears throat> I think I'm going to remove a defend. Yeah. Okay. Right. Spear and shield. Let's go. Let's go. Pots. I think speed pot and skill pot are the best we can get here. I don't think an attack pot... I mean, an attack pot could be damaged, but I think we stick with these two. Right. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's go. Are we going to want to use these pots in this fight? Or do we want to save them for the heart? Um... We might want to use skill pot turn two against these guys. Turn two is scary. I should hold boot sequence. We're going to chill charge battery. Last shot, why wouldn't you spend all, like, all your cash? Um, <clears throat> because there's nothing... In my, I don't think there's anything we're going to spend our cash on that actually helps. I think adding any of the cards there just make our deck a bit worse. Uh, and I think these are the best pots we could have had out of the pots offered. Yeah, we might end up using one of these pots next turn. That would be okay. okay. Right. Boot sequence hologram. That's a lot of damage. So this could be a speed pot turn. We might even use both pots. We can hologram charge battery. Right. If we play speed pot, this blocks 18, this blocks 8, this blocks 12. It's like a 38 block. And then we'd probably go... Oh, God, do we use the skill pot as well? Burns don't stay in your hand now. Right, this is a really bad start for us. And it's really hard to get going against these guys because they're just so aggressive. I think I'm going to use both pots. I think I'm going to use both pots. One, two. I mean, if we do boot sequence and hologram and charge battery, we could still play three more cards. One of them could be the skill pot, and so we can play two more, maybe defrag ball lightning. I mean, I don't really want to defrag. I don't really want to defrag against these guys, because I wanted to amplify defrag. But this might be a situation where we have to defrag early. We should maybe defrag early against these guys. I'm going to use a skill pot. Let's see what we can get. Hologram, Equilibrium, Tempest. Not looking forward to the heartbreak of this run. Bro, we can still win, okay? We can still win. I believe. We can hologram again so that we can play charge battery again. <clears throat> Equilibrium is okay. Charge 
charge battery, right. Well, how much block is a charge battery? So it's five. So it's 13, 16, 19. We played charge battery twice. So that's 33 plus. Twenty-five, about fifty-eight block. I mean, we could also do equilibrium and hologram equilibrium. But now I'm going to take a hologram. I can play one more card to get the frost orbs further along. Probably fine. So, I mean, I could play defrag. This blocks... This blocks 62. They do 61. Plus 4, 65. So I could defrag to block all of it. Do we defrag? I don't think we do. I think we probably... I mean, do we save it for Amplify? Amplify's too important. We still have another... We still have another Defrag Amplify in our deck, though. But yeah, I'm gonna... I mean, taking, what, three damage on this turn is totally okay. It could be a lot worse than that. This is a really hard turn. Only taking a small amount of damage is actually fine. So now we can amplify defrag, which helps with our overall block. We need to turn around so I can strike this guy. I mean, I could multicast. We could multicast and then turbo. If I want to block it all. What about your cast? <clears throat> I mean, I could also be Sheen learning multicast, that's probably better. Seven times nine would get. Bro, why is it so hard? Um. I don't love using all polar energy here, but we have turbo. I mean, what other play do we have other than playing multicast? If we don't play multicast, the play is like machine learning dual cast, which would be 9, 18 block, 24 block, only 24 block. So I think we do need to try multicast. We'd get nine times, and if I play machine learning, we get nine times seven. Wait, nine times seven is. Yeah, just machine learning multicast, I think.
I always get worried that the one on the left is gonna proc there, because now this is the front. Okay, this was good. That was well played. Right. Now what? We can hologram to find Amplify. Did you consider multicast turbo? I did, but I think it's better to do it this way around for the extra draw to have us a, give us a better chance of finding the cards we want. Jackie going straight back to Hades after losing this nearly six hour run. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um. We hologram amplify. Do we, do, do we dual cast? We probably dual cast as well. We're not going to have much block left, but we should be able to draw Glacier next turn with the skim. Hologram. Amplify. We amp defrag. Right, we can play two more cards. Oh, we actually block this, so I don't need to play dual cast. So I can turbo. We could Blizzard. It does very little damage. Uh, you streaming Elden Ring DLC during mainstream or not diverging from card games? Um, I would love to play it um, on stream, but I'm. Uh, I'll probably have to do it as like a variety stream thing. Um, so just in evenings, I think. <clears throat> um. Skim, Blizzard, Dual Cast. I think we have to just end turn here. Well, actually, we do take a little bit of damage from the burns. I wonder what's the earliest floor someone has had more relics than this. Certainly somewhere in Act 1. Dual Cast saves his health. This guy could be, is probably going to be attacking for a lot next turn. Gonna end turn. I need to keep the frost off. Okay. Bro, this run is getting gone got on so long, I'm starting to get distracted and shit. I gotta focus up. Um Lives it does four damage. Well, I haven't even channeled many frost orbs. Our frost orbs are like, where the hell are our frost orbs? Oh, we need to turn around. So we definitely cold snap this guy, right? Spraith Esquire just gifted five subs. Hey, Spray the Squire gifted five subs. Damn. Thank you very much, Spray the Squire. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Cheers. Hilly82, Dr. Balanced, Flamingo Man, Seb, and Imba No More. Welcome to the Jack Ops, guys. Right. Shit. Cheers, Spray. Uh, loop. We want to play Loop as well. Right, we'll start by turning around. 12 times 4. Looks less threatening. That's like 48. We can just turbo cool headed to be fair, or turbo skim. We can play auto shields. But if we cool headed first, we can't play auto shields.
off. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, she does this one right now, but I don't know if we need to play it. Oh, shields, scam. Let's glacier seek. Buffer and go for the eyes. So I can I could just loop Glacier to be fair. Loop. If I hold seek, if we if we play hang on a second, if we play two cards here. If we play two cards, we um only draw two next turn and we don't reshuffle our deck. So I need to play three cards. I think I need to play three cards so that we reshuffle our deck and then we can seek whatever we want. So we Glacier. And now we block it all. So now I can just turbo and play loot. I like that. I like that. We haven't managed to accumulate much energy yet. What do we even want now? I mean, we do have buffer. I could seek and like amplify buffer. Blizzard still does barely any damage. I mean, that is another card out of the deck. Which makes it slightly easier to find our stuff. 15 times 2, bro. That's like no damage. Turbo. Glacier. Uh, do we start thinking about multicast soon? Not just yet. We don't really have the energy yet. Bro, I've done like no damage to them as well. This is one of the problems about the heart fight. Is that we have to... You can't one-shot the heart. Which is really bad for us. And we... We have to do like 200 damage like four times kind of. And that's going to be really difficult for us. Fourteen times four and twenty-seven. That's kind of bad. The heart mega scales and we don't. True. Oh wait, if we had that card that was like, what's that card? Recycle. Bro, if we have Recycle, we can start exhausting things. Bro, Recycle would actually be amazing for us, right? That might even be the best card for us. But we've never been offered it, I don't think. No, I mean, we definitely would have... I've been thinking about so much. I would have definitely would have noticed it if we'd been offered it. Chad mentioned Recycle multiple times in the last four hours. You don't say? I mean, to be fair, if Recycle's not a card I've played with that much. But, uh... I've only had probably a handful of good runs with Recycle. Right, focus. 
I block 50 here. Zap dual cast. Six plus twenty-seven. Seventy-six. Eighty-three damage. That's eighty-three damage. I mean, again, we can multicast to just block everything, but it doesn't seem like the play. Shit. We do have hologram next turn. I mean, I could multi cast turbo, but I need to keep the frost orb here, really. I think I've just got to relax. Don't play turbo. That is a hand, yeah. <laughs> that hand looks more like a foot. <laughs> okay, buffer stopped us taking any damage. I mean, we should see how much damage multicast does, right? Can we think about doing multicast lethal? If we do ball lightning and cold snap. The heart is going to break mine. Oh, bro. Bro, dying of the heart is going to be the saddest thing ever, man. Shh. It's not going to happen. Fine. We, we can still do this, okay? We can do this. We're going to get a really good relic. Um, and we're going to get also a really good potion and a really good card as well. And it's all going to come together beautiful. Right. Um... Lightning, cold snap, turbo. Where are we on 10 energy? So we get 11 times 15. We don't have lethal. We definitely don't have lethal here. Damn. Holy shit. Oh, man. You can hollow the turbo. I mean, we could just multicast the block. Like, one play we can make is multicast the block here. And then use turbo to get some energy back and set some other orbs up. That might be the play. How many burns do we have? One, two, three, four, five burns. I mean, our deck isn't that good right now. Um. I mean, if we're not killing them this turn, we kind of... Well, I can turn around as well. I can turn around. But I should probably multicast, to be honest. Eventually, Blizzard will one-shot them. Eventually. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. Two hundred and five damage might kill one. 
Wait, is it 205? It's not that much, right? Wait. Turbo puts us to 12. Hologram to 11. Turbo to, to what, 14? But then I have to play two cards. So you go down to 12. 13. So just 13 times 15. 150, 165, 180. It is 205. 205. We are not far off lethal, which is kind of crazy. We're not far off lethal. So do we think about just chilling out here and turning around? And multicasting for lethal next turn. This thing is going to get blocked though. And it gets a load of block, right? This thing gets so much block. That it's not going to be lethal next turn. We're over 50% to kill Hammer if we go for it. Bro, I mean, we can't be coin flipping right now. <laughs> we can't be coin flipping. Right, I'm going to multicast and just block loads. I'm going to multicast, block loads, play turbo. Yes. I guess we could play the other cards first. So let's think about this. How many times do I need to multicast to block? If I'm using multicast for block, I've got 18. We can turn around... Deals 50% more damage is attacking you from behind. So this will do 30. And this will do... What, 42. So we're going to take about 90 damage. Wait, really? Can't be right. They're doing 83 now. It's got to be less than 83, right? Also have the burn. It's got to be less than 83. Yeah, it's probably more like 70-something. It's about 70-something. Because of the loop, I really want the Frost to be at the front. So I actually don't really want to play... So I think we Cold Snap Multicast, right? Because I do want the Frost Orb still at the front. Oh, wait. The Frost is going to get evoked, though. So I do have to do, like, Cold Snap. Oh, wait. This is actually really awkward. Because as soon as we multicast this... Hang on a second. As soon as I multicast this, this is the next orb. We have a free slot. So the Cold Snap orb would go here. The Ball Lightning orb would go here. And we wouldn't have a Frost orb at the front. And we need to have a Frost orb at the front. So I'm going to say Hologram Cold Snap back again. But that's not good. Okay, this is actually way more complicated than I even thought the first one was. Oh, God, okay. Okay, um... I could also just take a load of damage. <laughs> That's an option. Maybe we have to, we have to accept that there's going to be a lightning over the front. A draw is inconsistent next turn. It could be good. It could be bad. If we get skim, we're, we're chilling. If we get glacier, we're probably chilling. I don't know how much damage Blizzard does. I still don't think it even does that much. So maybe we do multi cast the lightning. You just turned 40, boys. Hey, GG, Soppy Boy. 
Congrats for making it that far. Well played. If Jack just intentionally killed his character now and went, haha, gotcha, chat, I wouldn't even be mad. Wow, you're old as fuck. <laughs> what age were you when this run started? <laughs> what are you doing this run? <laughs> <laughs> God. Bro, right, come on, focus, come on. Bro, I'm actually losing focus really hard. Come on. Multicast. Ball lightning, cold snap. Ball lightning, cold snap. Fifteen. Should get like forty-one. Forty-one plus thirty. So it's like seventy-one. I think it's going to be 71 damage. It's 83 this way round. It's only 71 if we turn the other way round. The more I think about it, the more I'm actually thinking of the multicast, the lightning orb might be the play. It's right. It, it, oh, God. Wait, hang on a second. We'll have a lightning orb up as we'll have another lightning orb up, maybe. If we if we put another lightning orb up, that's gonna be an extra ten damage. Oh fuck my life. <laughs> right. Turbo. Twelve energy. Hologram. 11 energy. Turbo again. Fourteen energy. Ball lightning. I've also got to make sure I, I only play six cards as well, because the choker. I can only play six cards. So like turbo, hologram, turbo is three. Ball lightning is four. Cold staff is five. Multicast is six. So we can do that. Twelve. 11, 14, 13, 12. So we do 12 damage. No, we have 12 energy, sorry. Which means 13 times 15, which we worked out it's 205, right? It's 205, but we also do 9 damage from these two. So that's 214. And we also get a 10 damage from a lightning orb. Which is 224. So I think we actually do it. Right? 224 probably kills one of them. Basically, you have 14 lightning strikes, you need 7 of them to hit the shield. And But then I've got to make sure, we're, we're doing 15 damage at a time, right? So I also need to make sure whatever I'm hitting with ball lightning and cold snap works towards points of 15 damage. It's so like 75, 90, 105 is a multiple of 15. So I want to put this little guy to 105. So I probably cold snap the one on the right, and then we ball lightning the one on the left. Okay, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. So. The play is... Turbo. Hologram. Turbo. Cold snap the one on the right. Bull lightning the one on the left. That will proc this frost orb. Move the lightning orb here. And then we multicast. And hope something good happens. 
<laughs> I think that's actually the play. I think that's actually the play. God damn it. Okay. Sounds foolproof. <laughs> I mean, I can't see a better play. I don't think any play is better than that. Um, science said that ages ago. Oh, yeah, I should just, uh, you know, I've listened to anyone in chat as soon as they, the second they say something, of course. Nice. <laughs> uh, right, let's go. Turbo. Hologram. Please. Okay, wait. Focus. Turbo. Hologram. Right, we've done it. We're committed. Hologram. Turbo. And then we're going to cold snap this guy, ball lighting this to put it to 105. And then multicast. Cold snap. Okay. This should be okay. Oh, bro, it blocked exactly as well. Oh my god, it blocked exact. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, that was good. Oh my god, that was good. Holy shit, bro, that might be the best turn I've ever done. <laughs> god damn. Yeah, I mean, anyone who else already who already thought of that play, GG. GG. Yeah, GG, Cyan. And anyone else? That was sick. Okay, now what? Wait. Oh yeah, we don't win yet. Uh... Now what? I mean, I don't need to block anything here. We should put another Rob up. And we should turbo. And then we just chill. Oh, do you should play something so I draw more. This does nothing. We draw six cards. The quality of plays is directly proportional to time spent. Spend two hours on the next turn and it will be even better. <laughs> I'd clip it for you, but clips can only be 15, so 15 seconds long, not 15 goddamn hours. <laughs> right, do we win now? I think we win now. Oh my god, we did it. Oh, we did it, bro. We did it. Okay, we got a pot. An ink bottle. Right, so this is just more card draw. Ink bottle and swift pot is card draw and card draw. Okay. That's okay. Think bottle. Right. Do we want any of these? Go for the eyes plus steam barrier or hello world. Is a random common card helpful? I don't think so. We already have go for the eyes. I mean, making the heart weak is not bad. Making the heart weak is not bad. I wonder if we ever do go go for the eyes. I know we have one already, but it only applies one week. Holy, I just never noticed how few relics he has. What happened this run? <laughs> Okay, so what happened this run is um, that we've struggled from the very get-go. Um, we basically got offered no damage. 
Um, we had to fight an, alert, an elite really early on. Um, and then we had to dodge elites for basically the rest of the run. We weren't able to upgrade anything because we had to keep healing at campfires. Um, we got offered no pots. Uh, it was, yeah, it was just, it was just pretty bad overall. The whole thing was just bad. Hello world can also screw the deck. Yeah, I'm not going to take hello world. It's either go for the eyes or skip. It's either go for the eyes or skip. I don't hate go for the eyes. Wind back to Act 2 Slaver's fight if you want to see. That's when we really sh slowed to a snail's pace. Yeah. Act 2, yeah, we did slow it down. From, from like halfway through Act 2, we slowed it down a lot. <laughs> no spoilers. Yes, we have to watch the entire VOD. Soon to be released as a 24 episode mini series. <laughs> Holy shit, I should put individual YouTube videos up for, like, sections of this run. Not sure there'll be many. <laughs> 940 YouTube shorts incoming. <laughs> Is it over? It's not over, prof. We're, we've just got the heart. We're, we're on to the heart. We're about to do the final fight. Final boss time. Blimey, we're still on it. Every single fight a YouTube video of 30 minutes. So on today's episode, we review turn 16 shop strategies. It builds to a slow the spiral run over 48 weeks. <laughs> 48 weeks. Collect part one now at your local news agents. Right, okay. Having the damage to... Alright, think for a second. Think, 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 think. How do we beat the heart? How do we beat the heart? Um, I mean, the problem is going to be damage, right? Damage is going to be very, very hard to deal, which maybe means I need to keep cycling through lightning orbs occasionally. Um, but we need the fight to be faster, not slower. What percentage of the run has been spent talking about how long the run is? <laughs> Probably about 20%. I got me at my mom's place in like 90 minutes. I do want to know if you finish or not, so go. <laughs> Bro, it's been two hours since I was supposed to go and be productive today. Right. Okay, this is it. If we take go for the eyes... Jack, I'm sorry. Oh, shit, we've got Gamba going on. Will Will Jackie beat the heart? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Channel points. Yeah, do it. Nice. Okay. Um, if we take this, we can probably keep the heart weak. I don't hate taking it. I don't hate taking it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take go for the ice plus. We've got 55 health to beat the heart with. Let's go. Okay, here goes nothing. This is it, bro. Six hours. Six hour run and we're finally on with the heart. Bro, I'm surprised we're still alive. I thought we were going to die in Act 1. I thought we were going to die in Act 2. I thought we were going to die in Act 3. I thought we were going to die at Spirit Shield. But we did die to any of them. Let's go. One more countdown into nothing. Three. <laughs> two. One. Let's go. Okay. Seek. So, we could seek and do Amplify Defrag Turn 1. Do we play Boot Sequence for that play?
food sequence. Because we play one, two, three, four. Defend doesn't block. I think we do. I think we boot sequence seek. <laughs> Two minutes left. <laughs> Two minutes left on it, so you'll be lucky if he plays a card. <laughs> you could have arrived at LAX when this run started and be getting off the plane at New York now. <laughs> How many hands do we see before Predator ends? Doubtless have moved home, raised a family, and no longer have time to watch Twitch. <laughs> okay. Food sequence. Seek. Defrag and amplify. Um, defrag. Do we play chill? <clears throat> we may as well play chill. There's not really much of a reason to not play chill. We'll play chill. Okay, we had one turn. We did one turn. Oh shit, 67 damage. Bro, don't tell me we're gonna die on turn one. <laughs> oh shit! Uh Well, I guess this is turn two. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> mm. <sighs> okay. Right. Auto shields does barely anything. We have our swift pot. We could we could start by playing swift pot. I did my biggest bet ever on Nope, because I'd be happy, happy if Jackie wins anyway, but if he loses after all that, I need at least some internet points to feel a bit better. I mean, Hologram at the moment does nothing. It just gets me amplified. That's it. That's all it can do. We should draw first. Always draw first. I mean, we definitely use Swift Pot, right? We need more cards. This hand is doing nothing. This hand is doing nothing for us right now. We need more cards. So we're going to draw. It's all about surviving this turn as well. Because probably f it's going to be weak the next turn. So it's not going to be as threatening the next turn. Even though it's doing a multi attack. Wow. That hand does not help us stay alive. That hand does not help us stay alive. Um, we do get another draw with Inkball. You can make or break families with this fight. <sighs> auto shield, auto shield, auto shield. Bro, this is so much damage. I can only play six cards as well. We're really limited because of the choker. But I mean, I do think choker was the pick. I definitely think choker was the pick. So with our fourth card, we get a draw. I don't even know what draws would really help us that much right now. Okay, down to 50 damage. Uh, we should play card snap. I could hologram card snap. Hello, auto shields. Go 
got four cards to play. After we play two cards, we draw a card. <clears throat> I mean, when we play hologram, we go down to five block. Do we actually want auto shields back? Really? I think we called snap hologram calls. And we definitely called snap, I think. And then we could hologram cold snap back. <laughs> the heart might die of old age. We could turbo or we could defend. I don't know about hologram because if we draw, like the, the good thing about hologram is that we can get our amplify back again from hologram. So like if we draw defrag, I really want to be able to amplify defrag. This feels so doomed. Hello auto shields. Um... Thing is, we get three block. Like if I hologram, we go at five, and then we get down to three. Like it doesn't do anything, right? I could defend. Please tell me he has a way to scale damage. <laughs> um, well, we have Blizzard. Um, and we have um, Multicast Plus. I tuned out with the mini boss fight and thought, hey, I can see this run out before I need to get to the gym. <laughs> what the hell? You know the episode of Doctor Who where he spends a hundred million years chipping through a big wall of diamonds? <laughs> I mean, do we, should we be thinking about our draws? What if we get Buffer? Like, if we get Buffer, I want to be able to play Buffer, right? We have a 1 in 20 chance of drawing Buffer. There's a 1 in 20 chance we draw Buffer. We could also draw Glacier, which we'd immediately play. So Glacier and Buffer. Like, Buffer's our best draw. Right? Then again, could I even block them? Could I even play it? I can only play the Buffer if I play a block card. I actually think the players defend. I actually think the players defend to see the next card. I'm gonna do it. 
Please be a good card. Be good! Did fucking strike! <laughs> God! Uh... Hologram cold snap? Well, now we don't really have much of a choice. Okay, damage to the face incoming. Oh, God. 30 damage. That's rough. We could multicast here. And then do like turbo machine learning. Loop. Ideally we want to amplify the loop, but I don't think we realistically can, right? <clears throat> I think we have to loop now. Two times 15, and we block 18 here. If we ball lightning, we block 9. 27. It could be ball lightning. I should probably molly cast. I think we molly cast now. I can do ball lightning first. So now I can play three cards without taking any damage. So how much do we block if we play loop, machine learning, and then multicast? <clears throat> we go down to one block. I love this two times, nine, eighteen. So no, I think we do three cards here. I think we do loop, multicast, turbo. I mean, to be fair, next turn... Do you win if you don't amplify loop? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We don't have to play loop, to be fair. But we still need to find Amplify for D. Then we need to Amplify Defrag and we need to Amplify Loop as well. Like, it's very slow, right? <clears throat> I don't know how we ever get enough damage. Speed has not really been a part of any of this run true. We can do machine learning multicast turbo. The wound is a problem.
<laughs> in nine minutes time we will settle on playing Turbo in a cruel mockery of the card's concept. But we spell, we spent so long on this run that it's like I can't mess it up now, right? I can't like I can't like spend this long on one run and then suddenly make a quick decision and be like, oh yeah, that was a misplay. Oh never mind, run's over. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're gonna make sure at this point that we're actually doing it right. Imagine all that to just oh yeah, I misplayed, oh never mind, fuck it. Bro, I'm sweating, my palms are sway. <sighs> Shit. Alright. <clears throat> It's like as soon as you start going slow, like, like as soon as it starts getting like a slow, it starts turning into like a slow struggle, it becomes, it just kind of goes more and more in that direction. There is one or two fights where we played it pretty, pretty, pretty fast. I feel like against the Act 3 bosses we did okay. Right, anyway, just focus on this turn. Um, right, do we need to amplify loop to win this fight? I feel like there's just, there's just a point where it just does way too much stuff, right? Solid 4% of his health gone. Bro, 4%, I'll take it. <laughs> I honestly can't believe I lost an entire day to this. <laughs> hey, what do you mean lost? That's the wrong word, Sion. <laughs> um, da -da 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 -da. Right, come on, Jack. Do something. Think about the turn. Right. The turn. The turn. I think I can try and amplify loop and amplify defrag. I think we can do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to play machine learning. And then we're going to multicast on two energy. And then we're going to play turbo. I think that's a play. And that's what we're going to do. It means we don't start next turn with block, though. But that's fine. Maybe it's fine. Thing is, what about the... T like, next turn we get... It's not attacking. Next turn it's not attacking. Um... How about you save the run here, have a sleep, and come back later? Agreed, gonna have a clear head and a fresh pair of eyes. <coughs> yeah, it's not attacking next turn. But the turn after it, it'll be strong. It's also gonna shuffle things into my... Wait. No, it's already shuffled things. Am I gonna regret not playing the loop? No, I think we, I think we have to read it. Right, I'm gonna do machine learning, multicast turbo. It's the head, it's the play I keep thinking about, I'm gonna do it. I mean, I could play something else as well. I could play one more card. We could still play loot. The wound stays in our hand. Ah, do we play the loop? Do we play the loop? This streak can't end if you never play any cards. <laughs> Bro, I've never even- I've literally never had a stream like this. A stream where the whole stream is playing one game- one run? <laughs> Ridiculous. That's why I hung around? Bro, this is unheard of for us. 
But I'm, I'm just nervous about every single play. Right. Um, I mean, we do have hologram, right? So we can hologram amplify. I think I'm going to enter. We could strike. I'm going to enter. We save our energy. <clears throat> right. Now what? This is not a great this is not great draws. I really wanted the defry I really wanted the hologram actually. Do we hunt for hologram? We could definitely dual cast here to give us some block. If I want to get through the deck, I mean, this should be a re this should really be a turn where I play powers. What about buffer? Do we ever do anything with how? What do we do with buffer? <clears throat> It'll be done soon. I thought. <laughs> He can't go for seven hours, I thought. <laughs> oh my god. So I do want a frost orb in the, in the first position. Oh wait, we're not playing loop though. Do we have to play loop? Okay, do we have to play loop here if we don't find hologram? <clears throat> right, I'm going to start with dual cast. Super small question, is there a saying to turn off the screen shape when the heart beats? Uh, yes, it is. Screen shake. Right there. Graphic screen shake. <laughs> Cat arrive, run you fool, don't get sucked into this life coach nonsense. Come on. Right, think, Jack. Think, 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 think. Think. Are we playing chill? Right, I'm going to play dual cast. I'm going to play chill. Go. Do we play skim? I mean, with the ink ball, if we play one card and then skim, we draw five cards anyway. If we play hologram... Wait, hang on a second. If we do hologram here... If we do find the hologram... Skim... Hologram. I can't even. Man, I think I have to I have to play the loop. I think we have to play the loop. I mean, what do I want to play here that doesn't rely on Amplify? Let's see a buffer, charge battery, turbo. This might be a turn where we just try and cycle through a bit. And then next turn we have Glacier. Oh god, it's going to be hard. Next few turns are hard. It's minus 10 block a turn to play loop. In the long run, yeah. But I'm not sure we're getting to the long run right now. Charge battery.
<clears throat> I do feel like we need to play loot. I mean, what is the play next turn? We, we know pretty much what we're going to draw. We get Defrag, Hologram, Buffer, Glacier. We can buffer. We could just buffer the big attack. I could buffer the one big attack to try to give us time to find the Amplifier. If it's the multi-attack, we can maybe Glacier. Thing is, I also need to amp the defrag though as well. Zap slime, zap strike. Blizzard does 15 damage. I do need to play two cards. We could also do turbo. I could do zap turbo. Man, I left during time eater and really didn't anticipate they're still going. <laughs> Did you think we'd be dead? Do you think we'd be alive? <laughs> uh, oh god. So dead. <laughs> We're all ready to celebrate Christmas on here. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I promise I'm not normally this slow. I promise I'm not normally this slow. <laughs> Gonna go get a degree so I can figure this out back in three years. <laughs> Flying cars will be invented faster than this run ends. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna not play loot. Bro, the whole the question for this whole fight is do we play loot? <laughs> and I still don't know the answer. I still don't know the answer don't, don't know the answer to the do do we play loot question. Turbo slime. I think I'm gonna play that. Alright, I'm playing a card. He's gonna play a card. Oh, he might play a card. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> play a card? No, he yeah. ain't. No, he's not gonna play a card. We can only play two more cards, yeah. <laughs> He's losing his mind. Uh, oh, oh. Hey. <laughs> oh god, okay. Right, one more card. <laughs> turbo, 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 slime, turbo, slime. Poor choice. <laughs> I'm back from the market. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> How's the market, Demo? How's the market, Demo? Just tell us about the market. Anything nice at the market? <laughs> slime, 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 slime.
Okay, that's our turn. Four times 15. Bro, that's a lot of damage. Glacier is still in the deck. <clears throat> I mean, we can skim to get Glacier. The Weaken would be good. Skim draws his place here. What else, though? I mean, Glacier? I could hologram Glacier. And then we can buffer the next turn. Right, we can buffer next turn. <clears throat> I need to play two cards to be able to hologram the Glacier. So I could do Turbo, Skim. Turbo, Skim. Glacier, Hologram, Glacier. I don't even know if that blocks for us, though. 9, 18... I don't even know if that saves us. Hollow for Amp. <clears throat> I mean, Hollow Amp Defrag only gets us up to 10 block. I guess we could do Hologram Amp Defrag. That's one, two, three, four, and then skim glacier. Multicast? We do have multicast, that's true. Fucking hell. Right, I gotta work out how much the amplify play make does. Polygray amp polygram amp defrag. These are gonna do ten each. And then we get Glacier. It's 40. We also take two damage per heartbeat. We're about to start a 5,000 piece puzzle. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, as we get better at the game, we'll get faster, right? Mm. So the options here are to hologram... <sighs> Fuck. I mean, right, buffer's happening next turn. <sighs> Three. We're probably taking... I mean, we're playing six cards, right? We're playing six cards. And we're doing... We're taking 60 damage. So that's 72 damage. We're taking 72 damage.
Hologram. Amplify. Defrag. Skim. Glacier. Blocks. Ten. No, blocks. Thirteen. Twenty six. Thirty six. Forty six. Fifty six. I think that might be the play. <clears throat> we block fifty six, and we have twenty five health. So we'll still be alive on like five health. We'll still be alive on five health if we do the hologram amplify play. And then we can buffer the big attack next turn. I think that's right. What are the play? I mean, how much health would be left on? If we do, if we need the, the best thing about doing that is that we get the defrag set up, so the frosts are on ten block for the rest of the fight. Which is really, really important. Um, what else can we do? We could also hologram... I mean, we could hologram multicast, right? <clears throat> if we hologram multicast... We do kind of block this. Nine times seven. Hologram, hologram multicast cast does block almost all of it. But... If we do... So we can block almost all of it. But we don't get the defrag set up. Which is incredibly important. So I almost think it might be better to hologram with... Um, Amplify and take a big chunk of damage here Rather than blocking all of it. I think it's better to take take a big chunk of damage and have 10 focus Sixty Seventy two We block 13 26, 29, 36, 46, 56. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Wait, do I have the energy to play this? Hologram, amplify, defrag, skim, blizzard. That's exactly seven energy. Wait, skim could draw void, and then we don't have the energy. Oh my god. Skin could draw void and then we actually don't have the energy to do it. So for that reason, I want to play Skim early on. I want to play... I want to play Skim second. We have Turbo in hand? Yeah, but I've got Choker. I can only play six cards. I mean, the Choker is part of what's making this really hard. Like, I, I, I'm limited to six cards a turn. If we didn't have the choker, they, it would be way easier to actually just do stuff. <clears throat> it's only six energy. Wait, is it? One, two, three. Hologram, defrag, amplify, skim. It is. Yeah. Because amplify, the defrag does only gets costed once. I pray Jackie doesn't lose this run, imagine. I mean, there's a very, very high chance we're going to lose this run. Like, the reason I'm taking it so slow is because we've been super weak all run. Like, our deck has been pretty garbage. We've got no relics. It's been just... It's just been a super difficult run. It's been a super difficult run. And, like, I'm amazed that Rachi even still alive, to be honest. 
Um, <laughs> life coach runtime, a Maz outcome. <laughs> what? <laughs> right, I'm going to make the play. Hologram. <laughs> we played a card. Oh my god, he played a card. Be right back, start a podcast. Um, amp. I mean, I've already worked this out. I'm just going through the motions now, I think. Skim Glacier. I hope I was right about this. I hope I've actually calculated calculated this right. Okay, we're alive. <clears throat> Bro, I can't even dual cast a frost orb here. Amplified buffer. So, I mean, we can do defend buffer. I could go for the eyes. I could take two. I could take damage to the beat. <laughs> do you have a moment to talk about damage and the fact we don't do any? Amp loop defend buffer. We do really want to amp loop. We really want to amp loop. Amp loop. I mean, it does put us to three health. And then we defend buffer. Amp loop defend buffer. Does kind of work. We're on one health. But that's fine. I think we go down to one health. Amp loop. We can maybe fit go for the eyes in there as well. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we have to do buffer last, right? Because if I do buffer first, we're going to just proc it. We don't have the block. We don't have the block to... Um, Stop ourselves taking our damage from the beat. So we have to play buffer last. I think we do just amp loop. Only need 728 damage over four turns. If you do 94 damage this turn, you'll have done 166 to the heart, which was the score you got at the end of Act 4. <laughs> Alright, amp loop. What if we amped buffer? Got three cards left. Go for the eyes. No charge battery, sorry. Charge battery, go for the eyes buffer. We play dual cast to our frost first. 
Um, I mean, I don't, we need some. We need to do some damage, right? We're really struggling with damage, and it's not doing any damage next turn. So I think we can leave a lightning orb in this slot for now. Um, I think we leave the lightning orb here. When we do charge battery, go for the ice buffer. I mean, making it weak will be a big help. So if I can strip this artifact somehow, that would really help. I'm not sure if it gets more artifact. I don't know if it gets more artifact. Go for the ice doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything immediately, but it does um, strip one artifact. So I'm just thinking if we can strip more artifact later down the line. We have another run after this. Absolutely no chance. <laughs> Absolutely no chance. Charge battery. <laughs> Charge battery. We're going to do a 32 e 80 is run after this. Fuck, wait. I mean, I could turbo instead. I could turbo instead of go for the ice. Nah, I'm gonna play go for the ice. Go for the ice buffer. Wait. No, no, no. Oh, look at that damage. Bro, we actually did some damage. Okay. Blizzard does 21 damage. <clears throat> we have to go for the eyes next turn. Defend. I have to start with defend. And then we need to put the frost orbs up now. So I can still play four more cards. Cool headed turbo. Do we want to play ball lightning so we can stop chipping some damage through? We'll definitely play turbo here. We play go for the ice next turn. Blizzard does 27 damage. It would be nice to only really play five cards here so that we get the ink bottle prop next turn. So we have more options. Although I don't know if that even makes a difference. I've got to play turbo. We have to play turbo. Say turbo. Now what? Um, <clears throat> do we ball lightning is a question. Because the next... We still don't have... Do we even have loop up? Bro, we... At the start of your turn, trigger the passability of your four. Oh, we do? Wait, we do have loop up. At the start of your turn, trigger the passability of your next orb four times. So that's 40 block. That's 40 block before we've even done anything. So we could do ball lightning and blizzard. Or I could do strike blizzard. I could do strike blizzard. Ball lightning is blocked. That is true. I think we should do Strike Blizzard. I think we never play Strike so it doesn't take up draws. Um... But if we never play strike, we play ball lightning now. I mean, ball lightning is a lot of damage over the next few turns compared to strike. Like, ball lightning is damage over multiple turns. Let's see what we got next turn. So, this, this is what our next draws look like. I mean, we can hologram. We're not going to be able to auto shields. We'll probably play turbo. What, what are we going to hologram, though? 
We lose an energy with ball. Um, I mean, we can hologram Glacier. If we really think we need the damage, we could do ball lining. Oh God, I need to piss one sec. God damn it. Okay, um... <laughs> oh no, the urgency to piss is now gone and the pace will slow to a crawl. I mean, I guess, let's think about, um... How much block do we get next turn? With loop, at the start of our turn, we get 40 block. We get 40 block at the start of the turn. Plus, we're going to have two more frost orbs up. So that's 60 block. We literally have 60 block. That's a lot of block. And we do need to do damage at some point, right? I can't just never do damage. We have to do damage at some point. So I think we do ball lightning. Blizzard, ball lightning. Okay. 49 damage. <clears throat> so we already blocked that. So really this should be a turn where we think about dealing damage, I guess. We will definitely use go for the eyes. Do we want to hologram this turn or do we want to hold hologram and save it? I mean, what are we using? What are we trying to get back with hologram? Do we win this by doing multiple blizzards? Obviously, we can. Tr we eventually, the final hit is probably going to be multicast. And we want to have a frost orb in our first position next round, and then a lightning orb in the first position the round after that. Um, also, we've got to think about how many lightning orb procs do we need to get a good multicast off? 16 times 10. So if we get to like, if we get to do like a multicast for 9 or 10 energy with lightning orb here, that's a good chunk of damage. And we probably, we want to do that, right? We could go for the eyes. If we have it in the front, we have to do four, get 44 damage from loop. That is true. <clears throat> like, really, what the way we do it, right, is we multicast on... We want to multicast on the turn where... Where it's not attacking. And we also want a Frost Orb behind the Lightning Orb. So it's doing a big multi-attack next turn. So we have a Frost Orb on the right. Turn after I have Lightning Orb on the right with a Frost Orb to the left of that. Then use Multicast for that big Lightning Orb turn. Um, but, but then we also get the Frost Orb back up, frost orb back up to protect us the turn after. Okay, so how do we do that? Um... I mean, we've already got a lot of block this turn. I can't play Zap because I need a Lightning Orb after the... 
Like, this just feels like a bit of a dead turn. I don't know how to make this turn useful. How do we make this turn useful? Street retaining or defect? Uh, retaining. So we won with, uh... Yeah, all the characters want so far. <laughs> How many heartbeats do you think there have been since the start of the fight? <laughs> Gaining energy to turn? Yeah, I'm thinking we're almost definitely going to play Go for the Eyes and Turbo, right? We're going to go for the Eyes, we're going to Turbo. Next turn, it, it does feel like we're going to need Glacier next turn. So I'm thinking about hologramming Glacier for next turn. I'm just really concerned about the lack of damage, right? We're really not doing much damage. I, mean, I guess going for the ice does four damage. <laughs> I also need to. I also want to empty my hand a bit so that we get draws. I want to be drawing as many cards as we can. So I could just play like strike auto shields to empty the empty the hand a bit. Anything else we can hologram now that's really useful? I mean, Blizzard helps... I could just hologram Blizzard right now for a bit of damage. I could hologram Blizzard right now for a bit of damage. Go for the eyes. Turbo. Honestly, it's probably a strike turn. I would like to be able to play Zap, but I don't think we would have enough block next turn if we do that. I'm going to Turbo. And I'm going to Hologram at the Glacier. And I think we strike. What if we dual cast Glacier next turn? How much block does that do? Because I could zap then. So if we have a Frost Orb at the, at the front and all we do is dual cast Glacier, we get 10 block, we get 40 block. Let me dual cast it. That's 66 block. 79 block. Dual cast Glacier is enough. Which means, I think... I think that means that we can zap here. I think we can actually strike zap. Strike zap. We only have one Frost Orb. But then we dual cast it. And we Glacier. And that moves the uh, one of the Lightning Orbs to the front for a big multicast turn. I think that's the way. This sounds smart.
Right, do we play auto shield so that we have a chance to draw something else? I think we play auto shields because we draw six cards anyway. I should play this. It also procs our ink ball. Jewel cast. So what I want to do here is I want to end with a lightning orb at the front this turn. We probably hold hol hologram for another turn. This turn is quite good. So we hold hologram for another turn. We jewel cast Glacier. I mean, how much damage, do how much block does Glacier do on its own? We have 40. It does an extra 13. So it's 90. But it's like 94, really. Do we block 94? We block 66. 73. Do we block 93? I think we block 93. So we can just play charge battery. Wait. Dual cast. Okay, so can we get a ball lightning in here? We could maybe get like a ball lightning or blizzard in here. We can still play five cards. Glacier. We do ten, two frost, do ten block each. Don't forget, Beat of Death is three. Oh shit, Beat of Death is three. Oh, you're right. Fuck, I forgot about that. So we're gonna need to charge battery, I think. Changes everything. Yeah, we definitely got a charge battery. Glacier. So Glacier puts us to 91, right? Yeah, we just play Glacier. Unless... Hang on a second. 
if we think about this a bit harder, if we take one heart, if we if we take three damage to a heartbeat, if we take three damage to a heartbeat, <laughs> please don't stop thinking harder. Think about it harder. No. <laughs> If we ever take three damage to the heartbeat, we die, right? So there's basically no difference between being on one health and being on three health here. I think. So I think I could bolt lightning. <laughs> Sorry, could you pause for an hour so I can confirm three minus three is zero? Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Shh, shh, shh. Uh, right, what's more damage, Blizzard or more lightning? I mean, after we've played Glacier, Blizzard does. Um, 33 damage. Blizzard does 33 damage after we play Glacier. I'm good at 78. So I can Glacier instead of all lightning anyway. Next turn's gonna be fun. Let's get to next turn first. Next turn, uh... I mean, next turn we can just hologram, right? <laughs> Phew, for a second I thought he was gonna play a card! Glacier, 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 Glacier. I wanna play Glacier. So we block 91. If we play Blizzard, we do 33 damage. It's 33 damage for the sake of 2 health. Is it worth it? Is it worth doing 33 damage for taking 2 damage? I think it's worth I think 33 damage is worth it. Good at 68. So it'll be on 88. We, we die if we draw burn. Wait, hang on a second. We die if we draw burn, though. Bro, if we blizzard and we draw burn, we do die. But we've got to uh, we've got to do damage at some point, right? Or we're never going to win. We literally never win unless we start doing damage soon. We can still play cards. Oh yeah, true, we can play hologram. Sure. Blizzard, puts us to 68. Uh, maybe it's not worth it. I'm not sure if it's worth it, actually. Because we want to get multicast off next turn, but it's lightning up at the front. But to do that... Yeah. It will never stop. <laughs> We're trapped in this mire. Um, I'm gonna play. I'm 
Probably busy. chill I could play hologram we could play hologram glacier or blizzard Chat be nice, please. It's a good thing that the run is long and interesting and he has to think about stuff instead of brain AFK through the run. <laughs> Miss Tywiven just resubscribed for 43 months. I think Hello, we are. What's up today? God, we've still got so much damage to do, man. <laughs> we've still got so much damage to do. Okay, change of plan. I think we're gonna have to multicast a frost orb. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to stop. We're gonna have to multicast frost orbs. We have to play glacier, right? I mean, really, this needed to be a damage dealing turn. We have the turbos. This is part two waiting room. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be here, we're gonna be here the whole time. This run will still be going on when Slayer's part two is released. We could end. We could try to end with a ball lightning on the right again. How do we do damage? How do we do enough damage ever? <clears throat> like, there is one turn where- Wait, does the B go up to four here? Does the B go up to four? No? What's your main plan? A cycle for Frost Blizzard, or you go for energy back to multicast? I mean, with the finishing play will be multicast, I think. If we get there. If we get to a point where we can kill it, we'll end with multicast. But I gotta get there first. Can we do ball lightning? I mean, it's gonna do shit tons of damage. I'm gonna have to multicast just to stay alive next turn. Turbo skim. That's not Blizzard. Oh, go for the eyes. We can double go for the eyes next turn. Maybe we could play more lining. 
This is the most drawn out loss ever. <laughs> what turn even is this? What year is this? I kind of want to try a ball lining, but it might be a bit risky. But I think we can maybe get away with it because of the amount of weak we've got. Wait, is it going to get give itself... Uh... Does it get artifacts again? I don't even know, bro. Doesn't just strength buffs. Okay. times 15. So we can double go for the eyes here, which is nice. Six times 15 means it's 90 damage again. Head and draw. Zap. We do have Ingbol on, Ingbol on H row, so we could uh, draw two things here. I mean, we can multicast if we're desperate, right? We're hoping to not be that desperate. But we can multicast and then end the turn on turbo. Oh, wait. This is bad. I need a frost orb on the right. So what is the play? Um, I think the play is cool headed zap multicast. Not turbo. Cool headed and zap and multicast means we're doing it's doing ninety nine damage. Zap multicast is play, I think. Bro, it's so hard. We're so nearly dead.
We are so nearly dead here. We might be dead next turn. It depends what we draw. I need a good draw here. I need a good draw, please! Wait, it's only doing 38 damage? Bro, that's nothing. What? Fuck, it's only doing 38 damage. I need more damage. My damage is in my deck. God, I needed I needed damage draws here. We actually needed damage draws. So it's not attacking next turn. Bro, we actually don't do any damage here. This is ridiculous. Glacier puts the lightning orb at the front. Multicast is in the deck. Can I need that? Holograms in the deck. Okay, so we play charge battery. We play Turbo. We play Glacier. can get rid of some cards, right? We can just get rid of some cards and also move the ink bottle along. So we can play like Auto Shields Turbo, or we can play Auto Shields Amplify. I can play Auto Shields Amplify and Turbo. And just get some cards out of our hand. What are we never gonna play? Auto Shields next turn is good. Oh yeah, shit! Wait, you're right, Auto Shields next turn is good. So I should probably play Turbo Amp Defend. We'll get rid of Amp. Defend. And then Turbo. Okay. Right, so it's gonna start doing stupid things now. Blizzard does 54 damage. Our last card is Hologram. So we have to start with Auto Shields. <laughs> Blizzard 54 damage on turn 68. Bro, not getting rid of the Auto Shields was a really big decision. 50% chance of 270 damage incoming damage next turn. Wait, really? Uh, that sounds bad. 270 damage. Wait, what are the things it could do next turn? So it could do one big multi-attack. Or, I mean, I can weaken it, right? So whatever it does, we can weaken it. There's the multi-attack and there's one single attack. We probably have to win the 50-50 to have a chance. So you think we, we survive the single attack but die to the multi-attack? I guess like, what does it get, like 50 strength or something? It's 18 times 15 or 63. Oh, shit. So we could survive the big attack. The single big attack. I've got five more cards we can play here. Um, We do need to try and do lots of damage this turn. Guaranteed, right? So Blizzard Hologram Blizzard gives us like 100 damage. Like, could we try and do... Like, what if we what if we draw multicast? Like, 16 times 10? Is not far off lethal? Like, we might actually be able to... 
Blizzard, Hollow Blizzard. I mean, I need to get it to 200 health now, right? We have to get it to 200 health now. <clears throat> Do we need a lightning orb at the front? Do we need lightning orb at the front? <laughs> no, I think we need frost orb at the front. Hologram multicast? Oh, we could hologram- Oh, we could multicast now. Wait. If we multicast now... We do 16 times 8 damage. I mean, we do a lot of damage if we mortal cast now. And then we might have two turns to set up another big turn. If we play five or six cards, we can get Ink Portal Proc next turn. Blizzard Hollow Multi is most damage. Blizzard Hollow Multi. Blizzard Hologram. We do have Skim next turn, right? Blizzard does 54. I don't know how we're going to do damage again, though. I mean, if it, okay, is it possible for us to kill it in two turns? I don't think it is if we don't multicast this turn. Shouldn't multi this turn if we want to loop lightning. I mean, we don't need to loop lightning, right? I mean, it is 44 damage. Blizzard. Wait, what if we do cold snap first? If we cold snap first, this does 16 damage. We put it to 310 health. And then um, Blizzard will do 57 damage. And we can do Blizzard Hologram Blizzard. Which is 114. So it's on 310. It's on 310. I don't think we can do enough damage with the uh, multicast next turn, right? Because we still have voids in our deck, which is bad. It's very unlikely, super unlikely that we'd be able to turb multicast and do like enough damage. So I think we have to play for with the, with the fact we win the 50-50, right? I think we have to play for the fact we win the 50-50. It doesn't do the multi-attack next turn. It just does a singular attack. What's the best play for that? The best play for that would still be setting up a big multicast, I think. So 
So I think the play would be Cold Snap. Blizzard, Hologram, Blizzard. I think that's what I'm going to do. If we do Cold Snap, Blizzard, Hologram, Blizzard, we can potentially block out the single attack next turn, if that's what it's doing, and set up uh, a, 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 a strong turn for the turn after. So we, ha we with this play, we have to win a 50-50. But I think it's the only way, right? I think it's the only way. I mean, even if we win the 50-50, we might still die. But it definitely seems like a much better chance that we win. If we try and go for a two-turn kill here... If we try and go for a two-turn kill, which would be... Blizzard hologram multicast. But then we're just out of stuff. We're just out of stuff, right? Oh, we can also dual cast here. Hang on a second. True. Wait. Jewel cast? I want to play... We, we, will try, we should try and play five cards, right? Jewel cast? Cold snap. Jewel cast? Cold snap. Blizzard, hologram, blizzard. That's the way, right? Jewel cast? Cold snap. Blizzard, Hologram, Blizzard. Wait, do we block that though? Oh wait, we do three damage. Oh, we can't do that. No, we actually can't do that because we died at the heartbeat. Wait, do we die at the heartbeat with the other play? Oh, fuck my life. Uh, <laughs> wait. We cold snap. Okay, so we can't do the dual cast play. We can't do the dual cast play. If we cold snap... Blizzard, we go down at two health. Oh no, okay. Alright, I'm gonna call snap Blizzard hologram. I think it's the way. Cold snap. Blizzard. And then we hologram and we blizzard, right? And then we have to draw exceptionally well next turn. At, we have to draw exceptionally well, and it has to be doing the singular attack, bro. If we, can, bro, if, <laughs> it has to be doing the. If it's doing the multi attack, we're totally dead, right? I think ball landing at the end is still the play. Um, let's see. We hologram, blizzard. We play blizzard for fifty seven damage. <clears throat> right, we have one card left to play. Do we want to play anything? If we play one card, we go down to one health. But that is not a problem, right? If we go down to one health, that is actually fine. Um... <sighs> we'll be getting a load of block at the start next turn from loot. So doing... Um... I think we do play ball lightning, right? It also gets a light lightning orb up, and getting a lightning orb up is good because it makes it slightly easier to um, put a lightning orb at the front for 
the other thing. Oh wait, it evokes the frost anyway. Oh yeah, wait, it evokes the frost anyway. Right, do we play more lightning? Yes, we do. And basically, we are now in a situation where we needed to not do the multi-attack, right? It has to- if it's doing the multi-attack, we're like a million percent dead because it gives itself like a shit ton of strength here. I don't know how much strength it is. Is it like 50 strength or something? I don't know, it's something stupid. Obviously, we have to go for the eyes. Right. Ball lightning. Three, two, one. Please don't do the multi attack. Please. Please, heart. Just don't do the multi attack. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't want to see it. I really don't want to see it. Okay. Three. Two. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. It's, bro, if this whole run comes out of this. If this whole run comes... No, this whole run... This entire, bro, how long have we been streaming for? I've been streaming for almost eight hours, bro. Almost eight hours, and it literally comes down to this. It literally comes down to this. <laughs> Hit the damn button. Hit the damn button. Right, three, two, one. Please. Oh, shit, it's not doing it, bro. It's not doing it. It's not doing it. We have a chance. Bro, we have a chance. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We can actually win. We can actually win. Wait. Okay, how do we win? How do we win? Okay, we have to win next turn, right? Next turn is the final turn. Either we kill it or we're dead. That is it. We kill it or we die next turn. That is final. Um, it's doing 63 damage. We need to... What do we need to do? We need to do damage. We need to do 172 damage. We we definitely end with a lightning orb at the front. Maybe. Wait. Definitely. Wait. Oh, fuck. We've got to put lightning at the front, right? We could put another zap. We could put zap up, maybe. <laughs> wait. Bro, this turn is... Incredibly important. This turn decides whether we win or lose. I mean, I guess every turn kind of decides whether you win or lose. But this is this is the last one. <laughs> this is the last one. Right, hologram. What do we do with hologram? Um, I mean, making it weak doesn't actually do anything, right? Well, it makes it do less damage. It does make it do less damage. As we cycle through these frost orbs, we're going to get more block. <clears throat> so we could start with potentially cold snap. We do want to... We could empty our hand for skin. Could we even win with, like, a couple of blizzards? Like, we could maybe... If we have the lightning orb at the front, maybe a couple of blizzards would do it. If you don't press end turn, you can't lose. Oh shit, I never thought of that. <laughs> oh god, bro, I'm so sweaty. Holy shit, I'm so sweaty. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay, come on. Think, Jack, think. We have six cards. We can play six cards. If we need to save block, we can just dual... Save our health, we can just dual cast. We have to have a block card for the start of next turn, right? If we end with lightning first, we need a block card next turn.
God, I really don't want to mess this up now. Fuck. Okay. Um, so Multicast and Blizzard are the two cards in our deck that deal damage. We're not guaranteed to draw them next turn. There is no guarantee that we draw Blizzard or Multicast next turn. So maybe we want to hold Skim. Maybe we want to hold Skim. Explain to me why you would ever not play Go for the Eyes. Um, because it, the heart being weak doesn't really matter. Uh, and we can only play six cards a turn. I mean, I guess what we could do, right? <clears throat> 16. If we have Lightning Orb at the front. If we have Lightning Orb at the front. We should be able to just block and multicast. And do enough damage. So, the most important thing here is actually just getting through our deck. So, do we ever use Skim and save Hologram? Like, it, it really feels like this turn is going to be quite weak. But that might be okay. Like, I'm thinking of doing something shitty, like... Go for the eyes. Like, I want to play... I want to play six cards, just so we get through the deck, right? Just so we draw more cards for, for our big finishing turn next turn, hopefully. Is there ever a world where we want to end with a Frost Orb on the right instead of a Lightning Orb on the right? Like if we end with a frost if we end with a frost orb on the right, we've got way more flexibility next turn. If we end with a lining orb on the right, um we kind of need auto shields or charge battery. Like I can't even play Glacier. A lining orb on the right, so much damage. It is, but I need to have block back. I guess I have hologram. If I hold hologram, it's okay, right? I think as long as we hold hologram, having a lightning orb on the right is okay. <clears throat> right. I think what we're going to do... Because we draw loads of cards next turn anyway, so there's not really much point skimming now. Because we draw, we draw naturally anyway next turn. So... I think I'm going to dual cast a lightning orb. I quite like the look of playing the zap and doing like zap, cold snap, zap, cold snap. Um, and that puts two lightning orbs at the front, and then dual casting one of the lightning orbs. Is that? Yeah, there's no point playing skim. There's no point playing skim. We do skim next turn if we have to. We have to save hologram for next turn. Zap, Cold Snap, Jewel Cast. I have no idea if we're going to have enough damage next turn. 
Do we, does Cold Snap even help? Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Cold Snap. Um, we're gonna dual cast. We're probably gonna go for the eyes. Just to empty the, like, we need to just empty the hand to get through the deck, right? So we go for the eyes. To get through the deck. And then we dual cast. And then I think we strike. And then that's it. Strike and turn. Well, we actually we do draw a card from the ink bottle, right? Do we strike? Or do we not strike? <clears throat> Bro, literally eight hours in the run, I'm thinking about whether I play strike or not. Oh my god. <laughs> strike is damage. I'm gonna strike. Amplify? Right, do we play Amplify? So that we get further through the deck? Because we have to find Multicast or Blizzard, right? The Void goes- wait, does it even get us further through the deck though? It does because of the skim. This exhaust, this goes away, so we've got four cards left. I think we amplify. I think we do amplify. We need to get as far through the deck as possible. If we don't draw the damage cards, we can't win. And we've still got 12 cards in the deck. We're not going to have as much energy, which is kind of scary. But we do have turbos. We have two turbos in the deck. We can probably play one of those next turn. Do you survive with the burn here? Uh, yeah, so we... It is 47 plus the burn is 49. We've got 10. We've got plenty of block here. We're fine. I'm gonna play Amplify. Right, this is it, bro. This is it. <laughs> this is the final turn. This is the final. Wait, do we play Amplify? Shit, think, Jack. Don't, don't, don't do big speech yet. Don't do big speech yet. Wait. <laughs> For the thousandth time this run. Wait, just, just one last time. Just wait one last time. Uh, right. In terms of damage, let's see. We can hologram multicast next turn. Lightning, this is gonna do 44 damage, which puts it to about 80 health. Evoking this. We need to get through the deck, right? The reason, like the, the one energy between multicast, it could be sketchy, right? I hope, really hope we don't draw Void. Void would be really bad. I mean, we might have to skim to find the cards we need. Also, Blizzard Hologram Blizzard is probably just lethal if we do get to do that. Why not skim now to Droid Void and Turbos? Um, because I've, I can only play one more card this turn. If we skim now, we get less draws next turn. Well, actually, wait, hang on a second. I think we play Amplify. Let's go. This is it. This is the final turn. This is the final turn. Please, please just give me a good draw. Here we go. It's do or die.
blizzard. That's it, bro. We win! We win! <laughs> we actually win! Please block. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> bro, imagine if we just played Blizzard. Holy shit. Imagine if we literally just played Blizzard, died, and that was it. Uh, okay, just play the cards. Bro, I'm so nervous. I don't even want to play the cards in case I do something wrong. We just Glacier, a Blizzard, and we win. And that's it. Bro, this blizzard. This blizzard has been with us from the start of the run. There it is! <laughs> oh my lord. Bro, that is the most intense run I've ever had. By a long way. Ralph underscore by just an incredibly long subs. way. That is by far the longest and most intense run I've ever had. Holy fuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, bro, I'm pretty sure my longest ever run before this was Always like half of just that time. Gifted five subs. Oh, bro, I'm so drained. <laughs> I'm so drained. Holy shit, that was insane. Like, we were so close to dying so many times. We were so weak. We were so weak. Fucking hell. Holy shit, Ralph gifted five subs. God Prof damn, thank Knight you very much, Ralph. It's subs. Livius, Cash Andy, Lucky Man, Razel, Lukey, welcome to the Jackos, guys. I accidentally press end the turn button because of clicking too much. I was screaming at my TV when you hovered the card. So stressful. JWP I've never been happier to lose a bet. GG, really subs. well done. Thank you, thank you for the GGs, guys. Holy fuck. Wow, that was fucking, that was fucking draining as shit. Yo, always DMV. Incredible. Thank you very much for the five gifted subs. Nogthan, Tyrannosaurus Hacks, Quasi Goto, Onyx Pebble, and Yuri Kazdorp. Welcome to the Jackoffs, guys. <sighs> Under eight hours, let's go. How long was that half pipe? Bro, I don't even know. It was probably like an, it was probably like an hour and a half or something. <laughs> it was probably like an hour and a half. Buttershibs, gift sub to Kukukun. Thank you very much, Buttershibs, Kukukun. Welcome, uh, welcome to the Jackoffs. Oh, my God. That was actually ridiculous. I mean, we did really well. We did really well. We did really well to get through that. I probably have learnt so much on this singular run. Like, it's actually insane. Prof Knight is gifted 25 just subs. Gifted 10 subs. Yo, thank you very much, Prof. Holy shit. Thank you very much, Prof. Appreciate that. That's a lot of subs. That is very generous. Thank you very much. True Del, True Del of Bob 062, As You Leak Number, Xantos Rain, Cochetto 32, 7007, Spacebar HS, Balu TTV, Zero Kiwi, King of Dharma 420, Nerdy Norther, Isog, It's Bull Boobis, Dysfunkashal, King Juju HS, can't even read anymore, The Keating Guy, Giggle 79, Frogan, Tommy Biafontano, Frisman, Sampa 9, Paprika, Iab, and King Verans, welcome to the Jackoffs, Jamie New PT, so many 50 50s, bro, if we'd lost that 50 50 as well. If we'd lost that 50 50, it would have been absolutely heartbreaking, man. Holy shit, it would have been heartbreaking. JWPT, give to date subs. Thank you very much, JWPT. CR, CJR, CJR, Gatravat, Softly, CTTV, Big Lebowski, Art Vandalay7, Soulchart, Bryn, and Joshua Schmidt. Welcome to the Jack Oh, <clears throat> Is this how math teachers feel every day? Jesus Christ, thank you very much for the bit, Super Freezer. If you lost, everyone would have unfo unfollowed after <laughs> doing that. <laughs> hey, mate, I wouldn't blame you, man. I wouldn't blame you. That was, I never normally play that slow. Like, that is by far the slowest. And I was getting more and more nervous. Like, as the run was going on, I was getting more and more nervous and, like, more and more tense, which made me play even slower and slower. Just a casual eight hours run. Bro, there was nothing, nothing casual about that at all. <laughs> Saw the first hour, slept for four hours, and then watched the end. <laughs> Misplayed at the end, didn't go for the 69 finish with Blizzard. Thanks for the bit slice, Fred. Appreciate that. Sinjur giving us up to Capri in the laundry. Thank you very much, Sinjur. Capri in the laundry. Welcome to the Jackoffs. Let's go for 10 hours next run. I mean, bro, we've won five in a row. That's five wins in a row. Literally. Holy shit. That's really good. 
surely, surely the next few runs can't be as hard as this one, right? Surely that's like the hardest run ever. <laughs> I'd have taken better cards and more relics. But good job making this work. Misty Wyvern gifted 10 subs. Thank you very much, Misty Wyvern. Mummy's Cheeky Buy, Seriously Creative, Bean Holio, Cards 50, Unicornography. Oh, that's a good name. New New and 2016, Text Portrayer, Haps by Mac Merch, and Man the Moon. Welcome to the Jackoffs, guys. Oh my god, not even eight hours, not even a whole shift of my job. Channel all time record, 20% level six hype train. <laughs> Jack at the end of a normal working day. Holy shit, I'm so drained, bro. Holy shit, this is insane. <laughs> Work job? <sighs> bro, I'm like, I was like shaking and shit. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. That was, this is exhausting. <laughs> if you keep gifting subs, he can't leave. <laughs> I think someone needs a bat nap. Oh my god. Griff gifted five subs. Thank you very much, Griff, my man. Cheers. Rain uh, four eight four eight Navota X Go Gomas seven nine nine one Riplan and King Timmy. Welcome to the Jackoffs. Five wins equals five. Wins. five just resubscribed <sighs> for nineteen months. GG. If you boarded a plane at London <clears throat> when the run began, you could be getting off at New York now. <laughs> this is an all-time reaction to winning a video game, bro. I mean, this was a satisfying game of Slay the Spire. I feel like we were offered so little damage. We had we were had barely any good cards offered to us. We were like screwed over with like getting barely any relics. We were really getting like no potions. We were down to like three health at one point. We were also down to three health against the heart. Um Fuck. I mean, our only damage through most of the run was Blizzard, and we were just blocking through most of the run. And then it was only getting multicast at the end. And we... If we hadn't taken multicast in the shop, we wouldn't have won this run, right? If we hadn't taken that multicast, we would have... There's so many small decisions that if we hadn't made those decisions, we would have been dead. We definitely would have been dead. If we'd taken pantograph over ice cream, we'd be a million percent dead. If we hadn't taken amplify, we definitely wouldn't have won the, won the run. Um... Upgrading loop instead of upgrading hologram. I mean, to be fair, I don't know what would have happened if we'd upgraded the hologram, but the loop was huge. Imagine not holding the loop. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, bro. Yeah, holding the loop as well. Like, not, not even just card decisions, but, like, play decisions. There was one turn against Spear and Shield that took, like, 40 minutes. And we eventually got it right and blocked, killed one of them and blocked perfectly. Like, oh my god, it was ridiculous. Fuck. Can you share the seed for this run on Discord? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. <sighs> right. Well, I am definitely going to call it a day there. Holy fuck. I'm, uh... Going to go see my mom later. She's, uh, she's making some dinner, so don't have to cook tonight. Have a catch-up with her. That'll be nice. And then when I get home, I'm probably just going to pass out straight away. <laughs> Right, and we will be starting tomorrow um, playing with Watcher going for six in a row. <sighs> Hopefully the run doesn't take this long. Although now we're deep in a streak. It's fuck, it's pressure, bro. It's pressure. You did also mess up the setup for the first multicast turn by not saving Hologram. I mean, to be honest, we probably messed up multiple times. We probably messed up multiple times, but I'm overall, I'm super happy with our decision making, and I think... A lot of our decision making was very good. Um, and probably wouldn't have been anywhere near as good if we'd played faster. Damn. Compared to this, your triathlon's gonna be a breeze. <laughs> right, I don't know about that. I haven't been able to train the last couple of weeks. I'm actually a bit I'm nervous about that as well. Right. <laughs> Yo, thank you for all the gifted subs, guys. That is like super generous. That is super generous. Um, wow. Jesus Christ. I'm like shaking, sweating, and exhausted. Right, let's find someone to raid. Let's find someone to raid. 